Bojo, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Gen TV. All right, Virgo, I, uh, I've just been meditating and doing a bit of light language and stuff. And uh, so I was kind of tuned in and I thought, what does Virgo need to hear right now? What, what vid does Virgo need? And what came into my head was, will they come back? And so Virgo, will they come back? Do a direct yes or no. Will they come back, please, for Virgo? Bear in mind my loves these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website. And uh, join the channel. Either way, you can uh, get extended videos. I am doing now for Christmas, I am doing um, private readings. So... You can take a look at my website for that as well. All right, will they come back for you, Virgo? You know, it's hard to say whether this is a yes or a no, because it sort of feels like... a decision's been made. It's like somebody weighed out all the odds. The good and the bad, pros and the cons about the connection with you. And they might still be doing that. But more than that, I kind of feel like it's not the outcome you want to hear. It's like the cons seem to be bigger for them than the pros in this connection. Let's do a full reading. Looks like a no though. Looks like um, they're still debating it for some of you, but when they come back, it doesn't look positive. Let's take a look. What does Virgo need to know right now? About love. Got some new cards coming today. I love getting new cards. This was a bit of a surprise connection for you and this person. Maybe you guys were sort of like friends who suddenly saw each other a little bit differently. Um, and getting with the Page of Cups, it was like, oh, that's a bit of a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. Um, and at the same time with this, it's sort of like, I kind of feel like it... Well, there's a tidal wave in the background there. It's, it sort of feels like, oh, what a nice surprise. Ah! It's like it almost went a little bit too quickly. The Empress in reverse. This is, I feel like this is you. This is someone who's, no, don't take this the wrong way. And I don't want to say the word codependent, but what I do mean is someone who is dependent on other people. Yeah. There's a feeling of being unable to find happiness while you're not in a relationship. 
but also not really being able to find happiness while you are in one as well. It's it's like a feeling of I can't be alone with my thoughts. It's like a lot of heartbreak around you that you need to deal with. You want someone who's going to equally put into a relationship what you put in, but it doesn't look like you've ever had that. It looks like you chase after it and you go from one relationship to the next. Searching for that. And being dependent on somebody else being there for your happiness. But the thing with that is that if you're dependent on someone else for your happiness, that can be taken away from you. If you find your happiness within yourself, you've got it. Yours, isn't it? What else Virgo needs to know right now? I don't think they're coming back, my love. This is one that got away from, from you. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So, what's coming up in the near future? This is a feeling of. Uh, It's just leaving leaving the past behind you. I can't pick my I'm trying to pick the card. I cut my nails, so can't do anything. Seven of Swords in reverse. It's a feeling of leaving the past behind. And what you were trying to make work in the past, you realise if I can pick the cards up, you realise that it was kind of a bit of a fantasy. Maybe you're projecting onto this person goodies that they didn't really have. Anything else coming up in the near future? I just sort of feel like you kind of come to the realisation that, yes, yeah, uh, sorry, see my bra. I don't, I don't tend to wear bras, they don't fit very nicely. I wear sports bras, is what I mean, and I don't let them hang there. Anyway, we're not talking about my boobs. I mean, unless you want to. Go, go in the comments below if that's what you fancy. I don't know if I'll entertain the conversation, but, you know. If it's what you want. Anyway. This is the energy we've got here, the best you can hope for. You're going to learn something from this, but you're not going to be with this person. This is the one who's out on their own, but you're going to learn something from this. You've got karma here. This is you. So you, you're kind of picking up and learn. Karma's not always a bad thing. You're learning what you need to learn from this situation. Barry. Hi, hi. If you're on that kitchen side, you're in trouble. This sounds like a sneeze coming or a, a fur ball. Please don't be a fur ball. Hi, hi. It's a fur ball, isn't it? Hold on, guys. Sorry, everyone. Barry had uh, been in my trash can, in my garbage or whatever you want to call it, in my bin, as I say in England. He'd been in the bin and he'd eaten a little bit of something that had hot sauce on it. And he was regretting it. So that was him like, hot sauce. You're going to go in the bin, that's what you're going to get. Anyway, you. So we come to you. You're learning. You're learning from this. You're you're learning a valuable lesson from this, and that's why you got karma there. Then I don't think that you and this person have any future. Let's take a look at the outcome here. We've got the King of Cups. I'll pick it up and show you if I can pick it up. There you go. Got the King of Cups. So this is the outcome. I'm going to read this for you. Then I'm going to take it into the extender where I'm going to look. 
how do they really feel about you? Where are you in their heart space? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? Some guidance from the universe. But let's read this now. Why is the King of Cups here, please? For the outcome, Virgo. This person was in love with somebody else. So you kind of got out of this lightly. It's good that this didn't happen. This was not the person for you, okay? Will they come back? I think it's a no. And I think that it's better if you don't move things forward with this person. They're in love with somebody else, it looks like. I'm just getting, there's a third party situation and you're better off without them in a way. Alright, what have you got for Virgo, please? Both in reverse. So we got trust in reverse. This situation is calling for you to have faith, but in reverse. So it doesn't look like this is the one for you. And we've got honeymoon, but in reverse. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. I think if you guys did have any sort of honeymoon period where you were kind of seeing each other in the beginning, it was kind of nice. It's in reverse. It looks like that's done with. And finally, you can love me, love me, love me, love. And the pipe on my heart is your love, is your love. Look is on your side. I think you got out of this just in time, my loves. Well done. If you want to watch Extended, take a look in the description box below. You'll find some links down there. See you later.